what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asa studio once again this is a photoshop tutorial and i'll be showing you how to retouch your beautiful portrait so let's get started the first things first observe what the first thing you need to have, um, fix in the photo and i can see that our end is actually closer to the light than our face and that's why you see the end is actually brighter than the face but i just want to make things uniform you can avoid things like that it happens so first of all let's make the lightness and that of the face let's match it out so i'm going to go to select color range and this time around i'm going to select make a selection of a hand so make a selection of a hand you can hold down alt and you know continue clicking on the hand till you get the all selection so let's say that's actually okay and then i'm going to click okay now it's going to create a max and i go to you and saturation for that you can use so many other you know adjustment layer you can use the curves and whichever one but let i like using you and saturation a lot <clears throat> and most of my video i use you and saturation so do this when you find out that this you want to fix this type of problem now let's close the you and saturation hold and alt and open the max i want to remove that from our face because if we make any adjustment it's actually going to show on the brighter side which is white reveals i don't want it to show on this you know on this part of our body i just want the end to correct the lightning of the hand so that's okay hold on alt and click on the mask again and now let's make our adjustment so double click and i found out that even if the lightness the light is closer to the end it's actually different from the face due to saturation because when the light is closed the saturation becomes you no know, more or less and we can actually fix that by decreasing the lightness more a bit let's take minus three and increasing the saturation of our hand and you immediately see that it's actually going to match so if i take it to the extreme you see it's actually the same with this one but that's too extreme so i'm going to bring it back a little there where it's not noticeable you can see before and then after fix that with just the saturation and i'm going to close it so after that let's try and make the some part that are actually yellow you can see some yellow right here just want to fix it. it might be in all the whole places but before we go further let's fix that and same thing you and saturation we all know you are saturation is very is a very powerful tool because it contains a use saturation and lightness of which it's the main Thing you see in any photo so i'm going to click on the hand tool and i'm going to select somewhere and you can see that the slider is selected don't worry about that i'm not going to adjust everything because i want it to look natural i'm just going to take the slider up a little till we have something that has uh yeah something like this so it's actually uniform <clears throat> so let's get started let's turn it off and on and make sure those places are selected we can take this forward a bit so i'm gonna take it back just to yeah i think that looks okay for me but we can still make more adjustment and that's too much so somewhere like this looks fine so now let's close it let's make this place zero the use zero and we can change the uniform make the u uniform and or bring it back to know the red part and it feels uniform like this so we can see before and then after or everything is now uniform okay so one thing we can actually do also is to also select create another u and saturation so let's go to u and saturation i'm going to use the end tool and select a face it's going to bring up the red channel and we can actually move this forward and you can see what actually doing to the photo let's not take it forward too much and we can increase the saturation of that and you can see how lovely it brought out the skin tune so you can actually use this method to actually bring up the skin tone you can see before where it look red and this one where it bring out the natural tone so taking it to the extreme we had more color to the you know to the tune to the skin color all right i'm going to close it and then i'm going to create a stamp visible layer for that Control shift or done here now what we want to do is frequency separation so it's contradict twice for those of you who don't know how to do frequency separation name the other one color i'm going to be faster fast with this texture yeah texture and you, there are tons of video that can actually help you concerning frequency separation so you can look that up on youtube i also have it on the channel 
so i'm gonna open it up and do the frequency separation and come back all right so i'm done with the frequency separation you can see before and then the after before and then the after all right so another thing we need to do is to create a stem visible layer and let's see how we're going to work on the highlight and the shadows so we're going to go to camera raw filter for that so i'm going to go to camera raw filter yeah it's going to look more interesting go to the basic tab and let's adjust the white up take the white up and just increase the highlight a little bit not too much or we can increase the highlight and decrease the white whichever way let's bring it down let's bring the white down and increase the highlight then so since we have it like this just find the sweet spot for it and i would like to increase the shadows to bring out more and decrease let's leave the blacks the way it is increase the texture and we have that and the texture i'm gonna take it somewhere around 15 that's too much so let's leave it around 11 would do okay i'm going to close the basic tab and now go to the color mixer and make the saturation of the purple go to the saturation magenta increase the saturation of the magenta to an extent we're just trying to create art right here and the red i'm going to increase the red and you can see that affecting the lips a lot so let's take it keep watching and as you increase you see how stunning it looks so i think i increased it to somewhere around 81 and for the skin i'm going to make the yellows look more like the yellows and think go to the u and make the u of the yellow look more like the orange and the orange i'm going to make it look small like the orange okay so not too much of that just somewhere around minus one or plus three you go to the saturation of the orange and increase it a bit so that looks okay to me i'm going to close the color mixer and if we like we can use the calibration and for the calibration just add the tone to red a bit and take back the blues and you can find the sweet spot for your green if you like so you can see the before then the after i'm gonna click ok on the keyboard and you can see the transformation we did to the photo all right so i'm gonna select here to the beginning and then i'm going to group it and turn it off so one more thing we can do we can actually color grade so let's go to the color balance adjustment layer and then increase the red a bit so somewhere like yeah that's too much so 16 and take this towards the yeah i think it's actually okay yeah and then we can go to the shadows and add in some blues so somewhere seven and add in some cyan let's go to the highlights and on the highlights you can give it some greens okay so that will be all for now so before and then after to create more balance so i'm gonna join these two and merge it together and let's look at our before and after so these are before and now this is our after stunning image before and after amazing right yes amazing so thank you for staying with us once again this is asas uh if you're new to the channel please subscribe see you in our next video thank you